Oh man, oh man, this is very bad. This is very, very bad. Zorak! Yellow. Get down here right now, I need you. Zoopa dooby doo, hey! So what is it, oh great and powerful leader? Jefferson has a grammar presentation for English class tomorrow. Oh no, how terrible! Um, quick question. Who's Jefferson? Um, the guy who created us? The god of our world is named Jefferson? No, you idiot. He's just a regular, nerdy guy who built us from a lifelong collection of bionicles and uses us to make st mediocre stop motions on YouTube. Oh, so he doesn't care if we break the fourth wall for this episode? Nope. In fact, you can even wave to him right now. Hi there, normal nerdy guy, Jefferson! I swear this gets more educational later on. Okay, now that we've established that we're breaking the fourth wall, Zurak, go find everyone and bring them here. We need all the extras we can get for this episode. Aye aye, Captain! Whoosh! Hey Marcus, does this qualify as everyone? Yeah, that'll about do it. Hello, my fellow students. My name is Marcus, and I will be your instructor today on proper verb usage. Almost all verbs in English have five possible forms, the exception being the verb be. Regular verbs follow this basic pattern, base form, third person singular, past tense, past participle, and present participle. The base form of the verb is the one you find listed in the dictionary. This form indicates an action or condition in the present. For example, I slap this kikanalo in the face. Mother. Ah! Whose idea was this? Third person singular subjects include he, she, it, and the nouns they replace, as well as other pronouns, including someone, anybody, and everything. Present tense verbs in the third person singular end with s or es. For example, Dr. Tiburon stabs Zurak in the back. Wait, what? <laughs> I just love grammar, don't you? The past tense describes an action or condition that occurred in the past. For most verbs, the past tense is formed by adding a D or ED to the base form of the verb, such as, she inhaled the night air. Many verbs, however, have irregular past, for past tense forms, such as the word ate, as in, Doomfire ate Treyax's hand. <coughs> hey, you give that back! How am I supposed to play my guitar with only one hand? The past participle is used with have to form verbs in the perfect tense, with be to form verbs in the passive voice, and to form adjectives derived from verbs. Past perfect, Boreas and Treax had gone to the doctor to see if he could replace his hand. Passive, this book was written six years before it was published. Probably. Adjective. In the mad science community, stabbed corpses are a must-have for your evil lair. The present participle is formed by adding ing to the base of form of a verb. For example, I have no idea what that means. The present participle can also function as a noun, known as a gerund, like so. Roasting marshmallows is a popular pastime of baby dragons. It can also be used as an adjective, such as I leapt out of the way to avoid the swinging blade. And now we get to the part of verbiage that most writers frequently struggle with. Transitive and intransitive verbs. Does your freshly stabbed corpse lay or lie on the ground? And does a book set or sit on the shelf? Here's how they work. Transitive verbs take direct objects, nouns that receive the action of the verb. 
Intransitive verbs act in sentences that lack direct obje objects. Chickens lay eggs, but people lie down. I hope this helped. And that concludes today's episode. Tune in next week where we get Zurak out of the hospital. <laughs> ha! You just got past tense of stab! <laughs> oh, I do so love grammar. That's all, folks!